Sorry, that, uh, that is C. Oh, wow. And yep. Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she born love the way you twerk it What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 6 Continuing our run on becoming better here on Forza 6 This time we are in a VA powered S15 uh, And it's lights pretty good right now it's not a basic tune, so we're gonna modify it a little bit. I figured we'd hop into some, you know, online drift hoppers and see, you know, what we can do. Getting a little bit comfortable with this car. As you can see, we're gonna hit that wall. Oh, that was a hard hit. Probably, you know, could have tapped the brakes on that a little bit. There we go. Nice and smooth. There we go. So, I have been getting a little bit better at this. I wanted to grab the D-brake, but oh, that was perfect. But I found a good basic tune with the help of a few of the subscribers, you know, infamous turbo lag and a couple other subscribers to find a good basic tune to start off on. And then work the car from there. Uh, I decided I want to try an S15 because I, you know, I like the S15 how it handles. You know, in Horizon 3, but of course, this is totally different than Horizon 3. But nonetheless, it's an S15, and my, you know, my favorite pro for the drift drivers drive it. You know, Peter Vincek and you know James Dean of the Warhouse Drift Team, who you know I'm looking to hopefully see James Dean take first this year. Oh, uh, that caught that cut grip. Uh, I think I need to adjust tire brushes a little bit, but we're going to finish this lap here at Prague. Then we're going to hop into an online session with this car and we take the suspension tuning a little bit. So, you know, like I said, as always, if you guys have suggestions on tunes and such, leave them down in the comment section down below. It's actually helping me out driving other tunes and you know, seeing what other tunes are like. But I am liking around 500 horsepower. And, you know, this S15 is doing some pretty good business. Other than that, that little rip up. Uh, I think I'm going to change probably camber or toe a little bit on that. So we're going to rip this front section one more time here. And then we're going to head into a public hopper. Throw that in hard. Ooh, 90 degrees. I don't even care if we lost the drift points with that. That was pretty awesome 90 degree injury. So, all right, we're going to find a drift hopper. So I will see you guys when I find a session. So we found a lobby waiting to join. This lobby looks like it's got all drift cars. So the reason I hate online lobbies and why I want to get an online lobby going of people that I know is for this specific reason that I'm about to show you. I'm going to show you guys clips from the lobby I was in prior to this one. Bitch. And this is why I hate online sessions. All right, the intermission is over. Like I said, those uh those clips you just saw are why I do not like online. Drift Harbor is in Forza 6 because people do stuff like that and it, it gets annoying after a while, but you know, that's what you get. So we are here in Circa de Catalunya Grand Prix circuit with our V8 S15. Let's see if we can uh, throw down some decent slides and get some decent points and you know, my only goal is to not finish last. So And you know, we're on the road to better fluidity here on Forza Motorsports 6. So if you guys want to keep seeing more Forza Motorsports 6 drifting, comment down below, like this video, and subscribe if you are not a subscriber. As well as comment down below if you have suggestions on tune setups or such that you think I should try that would be good for me. I am running a full 900 degrees of rotation on my Logitech G920 with my Energy Innovations 350mm wheel, hydraulic handbrake, 
Logitech G920 shifter in my NRG Innovations Geo Black seat. So uh, let's see what we can do. So we're up front. So let's see if we can just run away. Probably not gonna happen. Yep, there goes an R33. Everybody else stayed back, so that's good. So maybe we uh, we get some decent slides without you know getting in people's way. Why did go to first? And wants to go to first, but we're able to somehow save that. I don't know how. Throw it back in third. We go. Takes us points. Third in the fourth, because I know this turns long. Let's see if we can hold out points. Fourth gear in this V8 S13, S15. I want to bank those points. I'm not going to risk it too much for that. I want to go back in the third on that one. Ooh, don't hit me. Sorry, dude. I don't want to hit you. I am liking this S15, though. Ooh, here we go. Long knee brake grab in. A little braking. Probably should have went down the second. Ugh. We'll hold those points. Ooh. And it went in the first on me again. Son of a... Oh, I really gotta fix that shifter issue. I wasn't the only one that lost it there, so. We didn't lose it too bad, though. We didn't, like, completely screw up a turn. And her in the same time as that R33. Oh, you. You're, it's not drifting if you're in a Porsche. I've said this on episodes before. Oh man, and he made me lose my points. So that that kind of that kind of triggers me a little bit. So I know it can hold power out of third gear. So R33 is trying to hit that Porsche. It looks like he is. If I made him lose massive points, gotta get sideways to get points. But we're not doing too too bad. See don't lose that don't lose that please bank those points don't hit me don't hit me oh, thank you sorry that uh, let us see oh wow and yep and this is exactly case in point another reason why forza online completely sucks either that guy was not paying attention or he just straight up wanted to go head first into everybody in that corner. I just got punted. Yep, a lot of people are quitting probably because of that guy. Wow. I just got punted. So if you guys want to do an online session, let me know down in the comment section down below. Yeah, that guy's not even drifting. He's just purposely waiting for people to be drifting so we can hit them. So we're going to try and stay behind this guy because I don't want to... That eh, loses my points. I don't want to, you know, get into that guy again. Run this outside. There we go. I really need to fix that shifter. Look at that, just, you know, transmission lock that thing in. It's okay, you know, it's good for the car. But the fluidity is getting there. The consistency is kind of getting there more and more every time. So it's on second this time, because I remember this turn. We're on that rebel strip, we're good. That's a really long entry. Stay on the grass. Stay off the grass. I don't know. Oh, I don't know how we didn't lose our points. But we did. So we'll take that. Here we go. That's an angle that I wanted to see. Looks like that Corvette just pummeled another car. Should have like double clutch it in, otherwise it goes in the wrong gear. Once again, should have gone in the second. Oh, 
I should be should know this track by now. No. Clutch kick, keep my points, there we go. Throw it down a second. Get as little points as we can. I don't think I'm gonna hold that. Okay, I don't know how I held that. So the car is good. The car has the potential to nab series points. I just gotta get more fluid with it. They're not doing too bad. I mean, nine out of 17 is not horrible. Oh, great. Uh, I see what's about to happen. Make sure I get the third now first. Break in, there we go. The clutch kick. They're in the fourth mid drift. There we go. Stay on it. Yep. Okay. This S15 has definitely got me, uh, me smiling here for this. Ooh, there we go. Uh, grip up in front. I saw that coming. I was able to correct that so we didn't totally lose it. I'll lose those points, though. Second, there we go. Nope, over rotated. I saw that. I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I popped that throttle the second time. But nine out of seventeen, not too shabby, I would say so myself. Like I said, these guys probably have been doing this a lot more than I have, as well as probably a lot of them are on controllers, which controller drifting I can do a whole heck of a lot better. But why would I do that when I have a full wheel set up here? It's more fun for me to use a wheel than it is a controller. And on the last minute here. Got it in second gear that time. I remembered. Clutch kick and we break there. Use the weight to throw it back. we go that was probably the best through that section I've done since being on here didn't feel like it went into second gear but it did clutch you can get this last little turn here you break a little clutch pop take that last bit of 2300 points I will finish eighth out of 17 or, or third out of 17 what Indianapolis Motor Speedway circuit this is the one with I gotta remember it has the cut through and it doesn't have my sweepers that I like well that's sad regardless we're gonna drift it see how we do we didn't do too bad last track other than the Corvette deciding to punt us hopefully he doesn't do it this time we shall see. All right. I know Indianapolis, so I should do a lot. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I hate the starts. All right, here we go. Don't get hit from behind, please. I don't want to hit that car either. Oh, man, I got scared. Oh, my God, I almost lost everything. Whoa, that Miata scared me right there. See... I don't like going this way, I like going around the loops, but I'll take it how it is. Oh, and then we went too far, we went 90, and we lost all our points.
back on track. And then we're going to lose all our points again because we go 90. That's, I hope they get rid of that in Forza 7. I really do. I really hope they get rid of that whole 90 degree angle and you lose all your points, you know. Because if you can hold it, you should be able to get those points. Man, we're getting getting in the mix here. Gonna make those. Ooh, getting in the mix with these two GTRs. Wow. Um. Okay. He almost just took me out. What is it with people wanting to take me out recently? What did I do, to these guys? Oh, that GTR lost it. Excuse me. Stay in fourth. Probably have to go to third. Break. Not the cleanest entry into that, but I will take it. Trying to just get every bit of points we can. I'm kind of nervous with the cars behind me because I'm going to be throwing it into third gear. Not entering in fourth. Go. We didn't lose our points because we didn't go 90 this time. All these tires, though. On that run and full strip. There we go. Yep. Don't hit me. I want to keep those points. Whew. I'll take that. 8K through that section. Oh, here we go. Oh, get the tandems. Unintentional. That GTR probably slowed down. I was like, oh, God, I'm going to hit him. But I do. Thank you, man, for not hitting me. just by touching the grass. Ooh. ZTR probably wants to get well away from me. But we are lower on leaderboard, but I'm having a lot of fun with this. Oh, okay. Almost just completely screwed myself there. There go. I, I, I got scared. I got scared. I uh, banked those points rather than linking them in. So, and call me a scaredy cat if you want, but. Whew. Oh my gosh. Whew. That E30 is going everywhere, though. Ooh, enter and on the door of the E30. Oh. I scared the crap out of that E30. That's for oh, I straightened up. Bet you if I did have a better handling car, which I am working on getting, I'd probably do a whole heck of a lot better. Because the skills are there. It's just the car is not really there. But when I get it right, it looks good doing it. I just gotta get it right. Ooh, just like that. Wow. So, I don't know about you guys, but I think I've got... I have the skills to do this. I just don't have the cars. So, oh my gosh. Wow. So you guys need to help me out with the cars here or help me out with some tuning. 
tips because uh, I mean maybe it's just maybe it's just seat time maybe I just need more seat time and maybe that's all it is maybe the cars are okay maybe it's just seat time I don't know but we're definitely getting a lot more points than we would have normally gotten way before and definitely a lot more points than I've ever gotten before we'll jump drifts all right we're gonna try and link these try not to be a scaredy cat Nope. Okay, we're good. I'm going to try to do something awesome on this last section here. Probably not going to happen. Wrong gear. Find the right gear, car. I don't know how I found the right gear through that cluster of I don't know what was going on with my shifter. And that was completely no looking, just, you know... Hold that. Oh my gosh. I wanted to make those points through the wall. Ooh, thank you for not hitting me. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsports 6. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode on me trying to uh, continue climbing into fluidity here on Forza 6. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to join in on a lobby, let me know down in the comment section down below. As always, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. If you'd like to see, you want to see more, don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.